Enzymes are proteins or RNAs that act as biological catalysts, which speed up reactions without being consumed. Hollow enzyme refers to the optimally active enzyme, which consists of the protein portion of apoenzyme and the non-protein portion of cofactors. Organic cofactors are known as coenzymes, which can either be loosely bound as co-substrate or tightly bound as prosthetic group. For example, the enzyme pyruvate dehydrogenase complex, which catalyzes the oxidative decarboxylation of pyruvate to acetyl-CoA, involves the co-substrates coenzyme A and NAD+, and the prosthetic groups thiamine pyrophosphate, or TPP, derived from vitamin B1, as well as lipoamide and FAD. Some cofactors are inorganic ions such as iron cation, magnesium cation, manganese cation, and zinc cation. More details about cofactors will be covered in a future video. Enzymes are classified into six classes by the reaction they catalyze. Oxidoreductases catalyze the transfer of electrons. The most common oxidoreductases include dehydrogenases that catalyze oxidative degradation reactions coupled to the reduction of NAD plus to NADH, as well as reductases that catalyze reductive biosynthesis reactions coupled to the oxidation of NADPH to NADP plus. Transferases catalyze group transfers between molecules, including kinases that transfer phosphate group from ATP to substrate, transaminase that transfer amine from one molecule to another, which requires the coenzyme paradoxal phosphate or PLP, and methyltransferases that transfer methyl group from s methionine or SAM to substrate. Hydrolases catalyze hydrolysis reactions, hydro means the involvement of water, and lysis means cleavage reaction. Most macromolecules are degraded to monomers by hydrolases. Lipases cleave ester linkages of lipids. Peptidases cleave peptide bonds of proteins. Nucleases cleave the phosphodiester bonds of nucleic acids. And amylases cleave the glycosidic linkages of carbohydrates. Lyases catalyze bond cleavage by leaving double bonds or rings. They can also catalyze the reverse reaction of adding groups to double bonds. Examples include various decarboxylases such as pyruvate decarboxylase, which cleaves pyruvate into acetaldehyde and carbon dioxide, which plays a role in alcohol fermentation. Another type of lyases are various synthases such as citrate synthase, which combine acetyl-CoA and oxaloacetate to create citric acid during the citric acid cycle. Isomerases catalyze intracellular group transfers. Examples include ribose 5-phosphate isomerase from pentose phosphate pathway, which catalyzes the interconversion between ribose 5-phosphate and ribulose 5-phosphate, and ribulose 5-phosphate epimerase, which catalyzes the interconversion between ribulose 5-phosphate and cellulose 5-phosphate. Both enzymes are part of the pentose phosphate pathway, abbreviated as PPP. Ligases catalyze bond formation coupled to ATP hydrolysis, including DNA ligase involved in DNA replication and repair. Various carboxylases such as pyruvate carboxylase, which catalyzes the condensation of pyruvate and carbon dioxide or bicarbonate ion to form oxaloacetate and various synthetases such as amino acyl tRNA synthetase that catalyzes the condensation between amino acid and tRNA during translation. Uncatalyzed biological reactions tend to be slow. An enzyme provides an optimal microenvironment within which a given reaction can occur more rapidly. In a reaction coordinate diagram, the vertical axis represents the amount of Gibbs free energy, and the horizontal axis represents the progressive chemical changes as substrate, abbreviated as S, is converted to products, abbreviated as P. At the top of the energy hill is a point at which decay to the substrate or product state is equally probable, known as the transition state. The difference between the energy levels of the substrate and the transition state is the activation energy, which is the energy required to initiate a reaction. In an enzyme catalyzed reaction, the enzyme increases the rate of reaction by lowering the activation energy. However, enzymes do not affect the net change in free energy or delta G0, which is the energy difference between substrate and product and represents the position and direction of equilibrium. The active site is the region on enzyme where the substrate binds. Many reactions have several steps involving the formation and decay of transient chemical species called reaction intermediates which are represented by valleys in the reaction coordinate diagram. A reaction intermediate differs from a transition state in that an intermediate has a discrete lifetime, whereas a transition state lasts for only one bound vibration cycle. Enzymes are highly specific. They can usually distinguish between a substrate and a competing molecule. There are two models that explain enzyme specificity. 
In the lock and key model, only the correct size and shape of the substrate would fit into the active site of the enzyme, like a key into the keyhole of a lock. The enzyme is inflexible and completely complementary to the substrate. In the induced fit model, the enzyme is flexible with an active site that undergoes conformational change when substrate binds. The enzyme is most complementary to the high energy transition state. Both models explain enzyme specificity, however, only the induced fit model explains the stabilization of transition state, which ultimately lowers the activation energy. Enzyme catalysis involves four main mechanisms. First, the enzyme active site is structured so that it brings together substrate and close proximity and the correct orientation to cause a reaction. General acid-based catalysis refers to a proton transfers mediated by weak acids and bases in the active site. Amino acids that typically participate in acid-based catalysis include acidic amino acids glutamate and aspartate, basic amino acids lysine, arginine, and histidine, and polar amino acids cysteine, serine, and tyrosine. In covalent catalysis, a transient covalent bond is formed between the enzyme and the substrate, providing a new pathway that lowers the activation energy. Metal ions can participate in catalysis in several ways. They can help orient substrates such as magnesium cation and kinases. Metal ions can also mediate oxidation reduction reactions such as iron cations in electron transport chain.